evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 15 rounds of welterweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Ward's making his way to the ring right now. Boy, and he's not bashful at all, is he? Look at him, confidently making his way down for this contest. Yeah, he's so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread, but he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Irish Law! His adversary, fighting out of Montreal, Thunder. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. All right, keep busy. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Nice quick jab by Irish. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world to this fight than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. Landing two jabs by Irish. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. He's committed to the combination punching now, and it's working out well up top. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Irish. How about a return to center with the left hand? Ward's fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. End of the round here. Really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans round, are not just passionate like in other sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants, they do understand the parameters of the game. On, and you know what? They come, come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect a guy to box, you hear them every once in a while saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that champ working. They act like coaches sometimes. Here we go. Round two is underway. Head movement. Head movement. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Double jab by Irish. Irish. 
Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back enough. with one of his own. Good work by Irish. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Irish. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Double jab there by Ward. On the mark with the combination by Irish. Gaddy's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. The combo lands upstairs. Thunder showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Final minute of this round that has been nothing but two straight minutes of non-stop fury. Fashion your seatbelt, more turbulence ahead. Ward's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Irish is making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. He missed with that headshot. Step to the side and then lands the counter. Yeah, disappear on him and then all of a sudden appear on him. You want this fight? You gotta stay busy out there. You're losing this fight because you're not throwing any punches out there. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep those hands moving, all right? Keep the hands moving. You don't need that. Throw that away. And round number three is underway. It's okay. Pay him back. Nothing there on the punch by Ward. Ward's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Irish's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him, showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings That's that the trainers used like to that. say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Thunder. Irish's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Thunder. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. They're sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Flush right hand to the head. It's what the old timers want to see. Combination punching by Irish. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Just keep scoring punches. All right, you look great. Can't just move around. You gotta move your hands in there. Let's go. Keep circling.
the quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy scorecard, three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning and the reason why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring he needs to be in tight. Ward's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No. He understands and his corner understands that his opponent only has 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. Two snapping jabs by Irish. Gaddy's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Not able to land the headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He's jumping all over him now. Gaddy's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Irish has just got away with a headbutt. Good flush shot upstairs. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Ward. A crushing two-punch combo by Irish. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Punches and bunches, combination up top. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Here you go. Now listen, I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, right? All the eyes are on him to start this round. Gaddy's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Irish. Ward's got speed and plenty of it. Teddy, still, I'd like to see him just bite down and fight a little more. Yeah, you'd like to see him sit down a little bit, bend his legs a little bit, and make those punches a little more effective. Not just great where they look good. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Ward. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Thunder. Ward's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Nice combination by Ward. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Take oh, he took shot. some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. Did you see that? Gaddy's on the receiving end of a combination that floors him. <laughs> Down he goes, 
but he's going to continue on, beating the count. A three-punch combination scores. Nice work by Ward. He just missed that shot up top. End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Gaddy's trying to clear his head now. He was knocked down in that last round. But I don't know if he's fully back, just sitting on that stool. Good solid one-two by Irish. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then, oh, oh no, actually, I would say a little counter. Gaddy's stunned, and he is hurt. Thunder's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Look at that combination by Irish. Ward's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Wow! Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? He's a knockout victim. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Irish's power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts bring money. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.